Hello there, this is Robert Murdoch from the Go Engineer Tech Support Department. Today I'm going to tell you how easy it is to transfer a SolidWorks license off of your computer so that you can use it on another computer, or if you were just getting rid of your computer, so you can release the license so it's not taking up a space anymore. All SolidWorks products since 2007 no longer use license files or dongles. Rather, they activate over the internet to get their licensing. Here, the word transfer means to release the activation from the computer. Transferring a license makes a space available on the license for another computer to activate and use the software. For a standalone license, a single user may have SolidWorks installed and activated on two computers, usually their workstation and a home computer or a laptop. To transfer the license off of a computer that is using a standalone license, first, open the SOLIDWORKS application. Here I'm using SOLIDWORKS 2012. Click on the Help button here at the top of the screen and then select Transfer Licenses. This will open the Activation Wizard. Select All Licenses and choose Automatically over the Internet. If you're not connected to the Internet, you'll have to select manually via email. However, I won't be giving instructions on that today. I'll make a separate video giving instructions on how to transfer manually via email. Enter your email address here and then click Next. Once you're finished processing the activation, that window will say either successful or failed. If it says failed, call us at Go Engineer and we'll help you out. But normally it'll say successful and then you can click Finish and it will close your SOLIDWORKS application for you. Now, if you're trying to transfer for a network license, the process is a little different, but very similar. This activate the activation for a solid uh, for a network license is on the server computer that is hosting the solid network license manager. For these licenses, only one server can be active at a time. To transfer the license off of a server running the solid network license manager, open the license software by selecting start all programs, scroll down to the SOLIDWORKS version that you have it installed. I have the network software installed on my for SOLIDWORKS 2011. And then you'll have a folder here, Solid Network License Manager. Now, if your computer also has the SOLIDWORKS application installed, you will have another folder here, SOLIDWORKS Tools, and you'll see another Solid Network License Manager here. I want to show you the difference between these really quick. This is the wrong one. Here at the top of the screen you see four tabs. This is the client side version of the Solid Network License Manager and it's used to point the SOLIDWORKS application at your server so that you can get licensing. It's not the one that we want to use. So we're going to go back to All Programs, SOLIDWORKS 2011, SOLIDWORKS, Solid Network License Manager, so here in this folder, not SOLIDWORKS Tools. We'll open up this program here. It'll look identical. However, now we'll have five tabs. We'll have this new Server Administration tab. This tab controls the server and deals out the licenses. You'll click on Modify, and then this will bring up the product activation screen. It will look like this. You'll select transfer a software license and select next. Now my computer doesn't have a license for, for network SOLIDWORKS and so it's not going to let me do this. But it'll pull up the activation wizard screen that you saw for the standalone. You'll perform the same steps. You'll select automatically over the internet and select next and it will transfer the license. I hope that this video has been informative for you and uh, will help you to manage your licenses for SOLIDWORKS. This has been Robert Murdoch from Go Engineer Technical Support. Have a great day.